Welcome back to Realism Overhaul, a summary of events which happen live on Twitch, link is below. Today we've got a handful of launches to cover, as the Mars transfer window of 1975 approaches. This first launch, however, is Cosmos 5, looking to fly by the largest object in the solar system's asteroid belt, Vesta. We'll now use the Banshee stage to get a trajectory as close as possible to Vesta. This ends up requiring a mid-course correction 29 days from the first burn to leave Earth, and the fuel boils off before we even get there. I forgot to add MLI layers to the tank. Well, my brute force method is impossible with no fuel, but Cosmos itself sports a good 1200 meters per second of delta V, so I decided to see what we could still accomplish with all of its orbital momentum. Turns out we can't reach Vesta in the near future or after that, but we can redirect Cosmos 5 to fly by Mars instead in a thousand or so days, just for the hell of it really. So that's what we will do. And hey, speaking of Mars, we've got a few more launches to attend to. Three launches to be exact. First, Echo, meant to land on the Martian surface. Second, Mars 1-4, meant to establish a communications network around Mars to assist with the third mission, DEEPLOP, a two-spacecraft surface exploration of Deimos and Phobos, the moons of Mars. All three missions lift off within days of each other, riding Comet into orbit of the Earth. three missions now need a hefty mid-course plane change maneuver in order to actually arrive at Mars. I didn't perform a great TMI maneuver, I will admit. The only mission I'm not really worried about because of this is Echo, as it will be directly entering Mars's atmosphere, so here's hoping. Arriving first are the satellites, which don't have enough fuel to capture into orbit anymore. So, after accidentally hitting spacebar, we'll have to try our hand at aerobraking. I had no idea what might break during this, so we'll close the comms dishes and have KOS open them again afterwards. Unfortunately, we didn't slow down nearly enough. The satellites are destined for solar space, and this mission is now a bust. Next up, we've got Echo. Since our satellites have failed, we're running a KOS script for the landing sequence to trigger the aeroshell and parachutes at altitude milestones. Unfortunately, in the script, I unknowingly made the mistake of triggering staging according to sea level altitudes, and well, let's just say the landing was a bit harder than intended. But that's okay because Deplop is now arriving at Phobos. Capturing into Phobos orbit is a strange, unstable phenomena. Being this close to Mars really alters the shape of our orbit, and we will need many corrections in order to stay here. The orbiter, named Mother, will stay in this orbit providing communications back to Earth, while the lander, named Child, detaches to explore the surface of this tiny world.
Floating around on Phobos is an experience out of this world, but we need to save some fuel to also explore Deimos as well. But right around the time we're about to head out, Mother loses connection with Earth, and by extension, so does Child. Mars blocks our view, and both craft are left tumbling towards the surface until we see the Earth, just a small dot in the sky, emerge once again. Mother and child are back together and gather all the science for transmission back to Earth. And there is a lot. Fuel, however, we don't have a lot of anymore. Not enough to explore Deimos. However, we will send the spacecraft to fly past the further moon with the remaining fuel. And they will be left to endlessly drift past Phobos and Deimos until gravity pulls them into an impact or flings them into solar space. Either way, the mission is over somewhat successful after all. This just doesn't seem right. This right here. Radar indicates it could be a mountain. Yes, or a gravitational anomaly. Though no other sensors picked up anything strange. Dare we assume it's unnatural? A spire? A tower? We simply must find out. And with that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.